We'll say good morning. Today is Monday. It's 7.44 a.m. I know, I know I'm a little late today. Uh, all this rain made me sleep in until 6. So I am a lazy bum today. But we're finally here and uh, had quite a bit of rain last night. Um, those uh, models that showed a storm passing over last night were absolutely right. So let's take a look at rainfall totals. Let's start with yesterday's rainfall and see what we can see. There we go. So general pattern recently has been heavy on the east side, lighter on the west side. So we can see yesterday a half inch to an inch west bay and west end. Um, Sandy Bay to Mid Island, about two inches, and then east side, three, three and a half inches of rain. So things are pretty bad over here. Um, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can show you this video I took just a little bit ago. This is what uh, people in our community have to exit if they want to exit our community. Uh, I hear the municipal is supposed to be out today, hopefully, trying to make this a little better, but uh, I know a lot of you guys are dealing with similar situations. I've seen uh, landslides. I saw, I was in Pandytown, I think I mentioned this yesterday, uh, the day before, and I saw landslides there. I understand that there's been a landslide um, in Punta Gorda, um, some areas that have fallen onto the uh, road or near the road, so just be careful. Um, Got a couple more days to deal with some rain showers. We'll talk about how much more. And then starting Wednesday, we really have hope for a couple of clear days before we have to deal with something over the weekend. Okay, rainfall today as of 7 a.m. Still the pattern holds. A um, little lighter on the far west side with a third of an inch of rain. An inch, Sandy Bay, two inches, Mid-Island. Um, close to two inches on the east side. And again, you tell a half inch to an inch of rain. So going forward, let's see uh, where we are right now. Um, let's start with the satellite image and put this in motion. And these are clouds with the dimples on top, those are the heavier showers. You can see we have light rain over the islands right now for the most part. Looks like the heavier stuff is gonna be off to our north this morning. That's, that's a hopeful sign. Let's hope it stays up there and uh, the Radar kind of tells the same tale. We have some steady rain right now, heavier rain to our north. Let's hope it stays that way. Now let's take a look at uh, what we're looking at for the days for the day ahead. Um, north to northeast winds today, uh, switching to easterly and somewhat calmer on Tuesday. So our uh, seas, even though it's been kind of weird. Uh, they don't look too bad to me, but uh, the buoys still say three feet. So I guess, you know, I'm not a mariner, um, but, you know, two to three feet is what they look like to me. So I, I think a little, maybe even calmer than, than this tomorrow. Two feet, I would say, tomorrow. And then maybe a little windier from the east on Wednesday. But you can see uh, most of the models are, this is the GFS true model here. Uh, this is this morning's rain, maybe a little break in the action midday, overnight, another dose of rain, perhaps not as bad as we saw last night, Tuesday afternoon, another break, Tuesday night into Wednesday, some more rain, and then Wednesday, especially in the afternoon after we get past the morning, really looking to clear things out, and Thursday and Friday look better. Let's take a look at how this looks on our rainfall uh, total chart. Let's start with Tuesday. So this is 24-hour rainfall from 7 a.m. today to 7 a.m. tomorrow. So it includes rain we might get tonight. I start with the icon because they've been the most accurate so far as to our rain totals go, and they're calling for an inch and a half between now and tomorrow morning. Uh, GFS, I think uh, the GFS and the Euro. See, the GFS has kind of a, a bullet a bullseye up here to our north. I think that's going to be some of the storminess we're seeing this morning passing to our north. Um, and maybe tonight as well, and then us on the inch and a half to two inch range, and then the euro half inch to an inch, but also an inch and a half up here. So 
still looking for the next 24 hours at an inch to an inch and a half, maybe two of rain. And then this is the 24 hours from Tuesday morning to Wednesday morning. The Euro gives us a little relief here as a, in a half inch. The GFS um, still in the half inch range, but a little more danger here with uh, inch and a half to our north. And then let's go to the icon. So through the day on Tuesday into Wednesday morning, they're still giving us a little heavier rain, inch and a half. Now we go to Wednesday into Thursday morning. The Euro has us as having no rain during that time period. And my screen is glitching. Here we go. This happens sometimes here. There we go. GFS. Still pretty clear. Icon. Come on, Icon. Yes, very clear. So as we after we get through the very early morning hours on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, those are the days we really look to dry out. Wish I had better news for you, but that's what it looks like right now. Okay, let's talk about what the GFS is saying, especially as we look into the possibility of a storm late next weekend into Monday. So you can see the GFS as we go through Wednesday is having us clear out. Here we are down here. And we're kind of in the clear until we get to the weekend. Some rain returns as a cold front uh, gets close here. And then you can see as we get into Tuesday now, this was originally starting Sunday into Monday. Now it's starting Monday night into Tuesday. They have a storm forming to our east. And yesterday they had it coming over us, but today they have it staying to our east and going up through Cuba. Now the GFS tends to be very ambitious when it comes to storms. So let's see what the Euro says. Let's go back in time to, to now. And then we go through Tuesday, we still see the rain hanging around. And then as we get into Wednesday, it starts to clear us out. And especially for Thursday, Friday, we see this cold front here coming through the states, coming down here and bringing quite a bit of rain. We see some heavy rain coming over us, combining with moisture from the east, but we don't see tropical circulation in the euro, and that's important. The icon, let's go again, go back in time with this one. And as we go, let me get where we can see us, we're right down here. So let me go back to where we are now. Going heavy rain tonight, tomorrow night, and then starting to clear out on Wednesday. Here we see the cold front coming on Friday. And then getting here or for the weekend, and we see some of this heavier rain over us into Sunday and into Monday. But again, no tropical circulation on the icon. So that seems to be kind of a theme for us. Rain today and tomorrow, especially tonight and tomorrow night, just like, like we had last night, perhaps not as strong. Um, and then going into Wednesday, looking for things to clear out Thursday, Friday, nice. Saturday, clouds building back in for our next norther. Hopefully not as strong as this past one. And then Friday, Sunday into Monday would be rainy days. Um, and watching the tropics to see if what the GFS is predicting as far as tropical circulation actually happens. Want to give a shout out. I know a lot of you guys only come uh, pay attention to Roatan when you're visiting for a trip. Therefore, you don't probably want to be a member of Roatan Weather and pay uh, $3 every month. So I thought I'd give a shout out to um, a company called uh, buy me a coffee. If you just like to give us a tip, you can give us in one, you can give us one coffee worth of tip, three coffees, five coffees, or however many coffees you want to give us. Just a one time thank you if you would like to do so. All right. Well, thank you for your support and you guys have a good day. Stay dry and stay safe.